Young Ethiopians prepare themselves for potential new opportunities as the country sees an increase in the number of Chinese flocking to the country. Bethlehem Taye presents Reuters file. Hundreds of Ethiopian students are learning Mandarin in the hope of finding new opportunities in a country with Chinese businesses. The Ethiopia Polytechnic College in Addis Ababa, the first Chinese language school of its kind, was built by the Chinese government after an invitation from Ethiopia. The college, run by Ethiopia's Confucius Institute in collaboration with China's global non-profit public institution, is aimed at promoting Chinese culture. 19 years old, Nebuchadnezzar says Mandarin is not easy but he needs it to improve his chances of working for some of the lucrative Chinese-owned businesses in the country or going to China. Now in time those, the Chinese government are doing most, so many jobs with my country, so if there is a job application or something, it has more opportunity for me. That's why I want to need that's why I want to learn Chinese. There are currently 250 students. The Confucius Institute plans to increase the number of students to nearly 1,000 by 2011. Toshoma Klilu, a student at the college, says learning the language will open him up to learning new skills. Zia Fenji is the director of the Confucius Institute in Ethiopia. She says there are currently 23 Confucius schools in Africa, and this one in Addis Ababa, the latest institution, opened in November 2009. 